Hi, Nora. So here's a practice video for you. I'll start off with the uh, posture exercise and then I'll go through the tunes that you listed for me. So first we're sitting nice and tall. Remember your spine is an S shape, so it shouldn't be straight, but it should be just tall and relaxed. Take a nice deep breath. Shoulders are relaxed and down. Neck muscles are relaxed. You can shake your head no a little bit and then find the center. Nod your head yes, find the center. And then bring your instrument up, keeping those muscles relaxed. The violin goes on your collarbone, and then you'll hold on to it just by dropping your jawbone down to the chin rest. Lifting a little bit with this arm to remind that you're hold lifting it here. And your shoulder doesn't actually have to be involved. We'll actually have our bows down. And we'll put our fingers on the string, pet the wrist, and then lift the first finger. One, two, three, four, five and six, relax the neck, soften the wrist, second finger lift, two, three, four, five and six, soften the neck muscles, soften the wrist, third finger, just, it's just going to lift a tiny bit, third finger, don't, don't push it too hard, it's hard to move, so as only as far as you can go while keeping it relaxed. Soften the neck, soften the wrist, and pinky lift. Three, four, five, and six. And let's just do one last check. Do you feel tense anywhere? Maybe in the elbow, maybe in the thumb. Oftentimes I have people tap the thumb. And for you, it's definitely the wrist and a little bit the neck. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and go through our reels now. Starting with Glass Island, I'll play a phrase and then you can repeat after me and then we'll start putting it together. Here we go. I'll play each phrase twice. Here we go. And repeat that. That part's pretty easy. The next part we go into our C block. D block, and then E minor. All right, let's put those three together. One, two, C block, go. Let's repeat that again, and then you can pause the video and repeat it if you need two more. One, two, from the B to the C. All right, so until you can move on from that, repeat that maybe five times, and then we'll put it together with the beginning. Starting with the scale on E. So we go back to that. Again, here it is. Again, here it is. And last one. All right, from there, you can always pause the video if you need to, to take a break, repeat that. But from there, a lot of scales. I'll repeat that. From the B, three separated, three slurred. Same notes. And then the two at the end, the pony is F sharp and D. So here's that ending. And again. 
And then the ending, super simple. We go up and down that scale again. All right, so from the B, ready, steady, B, it goes. Once you've got that, we'll put it together with this. That's the whole first part. So at this point, I would take a break, a little brain break, drink some water, and now I'll play the whole first part um, twice through. Here we go. One, two, from the scale, good luck, go. YouTube does have a slowing down option. If you click on the settings, you can choose how fast you're going. So you can slow down this video if that was too fast. I'll play the B part now. I know this one's a little more straightforward. So I might just play the B part twice through and not break it down so much. So it starts on the B. I'll play it through twice. Here we go. One and here we go. again really slowly but I'm not gonna break it down here we go one and here we be C D scale on the way down we skip the C so I'll do that again from the first finger Ready, and again from the F sharp. Okay, that's a little bit tricky. So I'll go again from, from the beginning of the B part. One, and slowly. Scale. it's even easier but it can be deceptive that's the last note of the chord so we come from the D third finger again again okay awesome I'll play this through the whole tune once and then we'll be done okay here we go one to whole tune slowly go.
there we go. I hope that's helpful. Of course, let me know if you have any questions. So that was the Glass Island Rule Reel. That's by Ethan Hazard Watkins, I believe. All right. I'll now break down the musical priest. And I will put all your video, all your tunes in this one video. I should be able to get through them um, here at the end. So it might be about a half hour video, but I thought it would be nice for you to have everything in one place. So here's the musical priest. So this one's in B minor. So remember the B minor outline is gonna be B and F sharp. And then there's oftentimes Ds in there. So the, the B minor chord is B. D and F sharp. And then we'll use the low F sharp a lot too. So those are the notes that this uh, key centers around. B, D, and F sharp. So here we go. It starts with the B and the F sharp. All right, here's the first part. first part I really think about my second finger being really important when we're coming down from the top it's just second and first finger that's that rundown so I think that's the easiest place to get lost F sharp again F sharp so we go from F sharp to F sharp. Okay, one more time from the top. High F sharp, ready, and here we go. Okay, I'll play that A part now again without stopping. It does repeat, so. One and two F sharp. you could get lost there. Sometimes I start on the F sharp, but there really are two pickup notes, which is B and A. B, A, F sharp. But that F sharp is what hits on the beat. So those are the, that's the A part. <clears throat> I'll go on to the B part now. It starts the same on the B again. Instead of, you can start on this B and walk up. So it's kind of almost like a major version of what we just did. Do a triplet and then slur out of it. The triplet is, is a scale. Triple it down, and here it is. Down, up, down. One more time. And then we just do a bariolage, the string crossing. So, and again. Walk 
hard to start on the pickup. One, two, here we go. Pause it if you need to practice that again. And then we'll add this high part. So. That's a little tricky. That's just a scale. We go all the way up to the F sharp. Skip all the way to the B. Ready from D. And again. And I like doing this slur. And I land on that A. That's the next note. That's the slur I like. And then. That's how we come down. A pentatonic scale. And then I slur the last two. Okay, so from here, that's that slur. Up bow, ready, go. the whole second part. The second part's a little crazy. Here it is from the B. One and two. two videos so it's not ridiculously long. So we'll do this one with the two reels broken down and then I'll do a second one with all the other tunes you already know. So here's glass, uh, the musical priest C part. There are three parts to this one. So here's the last part. straightforward than the second part. So here it is. So you go right up. It starts the same, but you go hop from the D right back down to the B. And we'll do an ornament on that B. And I, eventually it'll be a full roll. But for now, if you just do a little flick with the third finger, that'll, that'll sound lovely. And that's this B, da ya. Okay, so. And I'll add a little more. We go right up to that high B. So we go from the ornament to the high B. Pro tip. I keep the first finger down when I reach for the fourth finger so I can feel where that first finger is. It's really easy if you let go of the first finger to kind of scrunch up towards the fourth finger. So if you can, and it doesn't hurt, you can always bring your elbow under a little bit, make sure your, your uh, wrist is relaxed. You should be able to reach the B. 
See what I mean? It likes to slide up. B and B. Just try that, B. And what I do do is I put my third finger down with it. In this case, it's not like this because it's not an A sharp, it's just an A. So I, put, I do put down the third and fourth finger at the same time. I do that most of the time um, because it helps the fourth finger not feel so fragile. So third and fourth finger go down together. Also, cool story, the pinky and the third finger, they share a tendon. So they're actually um, connected uh, sooner than the other ones. All of them end up connecting into your elbow, of course, but the pinky and the third finger are more connected than the others. So they really like to go together. All right, so again, from this B ornament, it'll be an up bow. And that's where you reach there. Make sure your, your wrist didn't do anything crazy. And let's do that again. Up bow and then down bow on, on the high B. Okay. And again. And again. Good. From the top B we go. Three and three. Three and three. And then the pony is just A and C sharp. So from here. And again. And again. And it'll go all the way down to the A. So let's take it from the beginning and add on that three, three, and two. Ready from the beginning. And again. And again. slow triplet. And then it goes right back into that beginning, but without the run up. So we go. does that again and it ends. Let me double check. And that's the ending. So it's all we've, we've now done all of it. I'll just play it through slowly now. Okay, here we go. One and two. Ready, set, go. shout out the parts and I'll go through the whole thing twice. So I'll go A, A, B, B, C, C, A, A, B, B, C, C. Here we go. One, two, A part. Here we go. Part. 
helpful if that was fun thank you for being a great student remember to relax your shoulders relax your neck and soften your wrists have a wonderful week i'll see you soon